I have previously made a video on my experience growing up with Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. While A Wonderful Life was definitely the most memorable of the Harvest Moon franchise to me, it's actually not my favorite. As you could probably tell by the title, Harvest Moon Magical Melody is my favorite Harvest Moon game of all time. To quickly clear things up, I'm talking about the games that were created from Harvest Moon on the SNES to Harvest Moon 3D A New Beginning. Any Harvest Moon game that came out after A New Beginning is not made by the original creators of the series. Marvelous Interactive are behind the originals and are now making their games under the name Story of Seasons. Now, with that all aside, let's get into the magic behind Magical Melody. I grew up with the Harvest Moon franchise, and I played Magical Melody on my GameCube when I was around 7 years old. I could fully read everything in the game at this point, which was something I wasn't quite able to do while playing A Wonderful Life. I realize that I will have a stronger bias towards the older games as they were what I spent countless hours playing as a child, but I do think Magical Melody still has some charm to it to this day. The main goal of the game is collecting 100 musical notes to save the Harvest Goddess and after every 5 notes collected you will get to see progress towards the Harvest Goddess being saved. It really makes the player feel like they're actively contributing to saving the Harvest Goddess which was a unique feeling to me in the franchise. Save the Homeland had a similar plot where you had to save the town but it was much more restrictive and even had a time limit to it. Magical Melody feels a lot less stressful to play through in comparison, but offers a similar main goal. The gameplay was different than any of the other Harvest Moon games up until that point. It was very clear to me, as a child, what I had to do compared to a wonderful life where I really didn't have an idea of what I was meant to be doing. The notes that needed to be collected gave me concrete goals to achieve and work towards. I also had an official guidebook for Magical Melody that I actually still have to this day. That also definitely helped me figure things out. The game has simple cooking, fishing, farming, mining, and collecting mechanics. The farm animals and pets are all extremely cute, and there are even wild animals that you can befriend. For example, if you befriend the dolphin, it can actually give you a ride to a secret island for you to fish at. Something else that was unique to Magical Melody at the time is that you can actually pick where you'd like to have your house and the rest of your buildings. You have different options of where to place your buildings instead of a set singular location. I remember even having my house on the beach on one playthrough when I was younger, and I loved to just walk around the beach and take in the views. It was possible to play as a male or female character on the GameCube version, and there were separate romance options for both. There is a more androgynous character in the game named Jamie who is romanceable regardless of what gender you choose to play as. I think subconsciously the character Jamie is part of the reason I chose the name Jamie for myself as an adult. If you'd like more context to that or want to know more about my personal life, feel free to check out my other channel JamieXXI for that. Jamie is your rival in the game and while you can romance them, the game will end once married. If you romance anyone else, you can continue playing the game and even have a child. The game's art style is unlike any other in this series. All of the characters are in a chibi art style instead of a realistic style like A Wonderful Life and Save the Homeland or a pixel art style like the older games. It has a sense of charm and uniqueness that I just didn't get out of the other games. All of the characters look cute, which made it very easy for me to be attached to them all as a child. All of the characters in the game have personalities that seem to shine through too. It makes the town feel alive and feel worth talking to everyone. The animations in the game aren't great compared to today's standards, but like all other things about this game, they're unique. The player icon in the bottom right corner even blinks, which is a little unnerving if you look at it for too long. The sound design of this game was also very interesting. The music always had me excited to continue playing, especially during the super upbeat spring season. The sounds that the characters make when you greet them can get to be a little bit annoying after hearing it hundreds of times, but it's still interesting nonetheless. 
The player character makes a sound that sounds like both Lucky and Ducky at the same time. Lucky! Although as a kid I chose to believe it said Ducky. Overall, every Harvest Moon game has its charm, but Magical Melody is definitely my favorite one to this day. Marvelous has previously said that they have plans to continue to remake old titles, so I definitely hope that Magical Melody is one of them. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, and leave a comment letting me know which Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons game is your favorite. Thanks for watching.